we are going to use DD Excel as uh, an add-in with Microsoft Excel for our statistics course. So in this video, first we are going to go ahead and install it in our program. Uh, in the program Microsoft Excel 2010 that we have on our computer, okay? When you install the program, uh, make sure to remember the directory where the program is placed. So in my case, uh, when I want uh, this add-in on my computer, I'm using Windows, so I'm selecting Windows here, okay? And uh, uh, let's let it start the process, okay? So we have, all right. So in this case, remember I said that we have to keep this in mind that where the program is, so then we will ask it to install and the installation is uh, hopefully finished and notice this that I am just noting down that uh, where the program is placed all right now what I will do is that I will open Microsoft Excel okay and then go to add ins here okay all right, oh sorry, first we go to options, okay? And then we go to add ends. So let me just uh, do it over again. So what do we do? We go to options and then we look for add ends. And then we, we see there are, you know, several features already added in here. The solver is pretty good, even though we are not using it in our course, but anyways, now remember, DD Excel was placed in a you know in in the program files. So let's go ahead and find it. All right. So here, that's where it placed it. Remember, I noted it down, and here is DD Excel, DD Excel add in, and uh, it's already checked. So we will say OK, and it's added and it is sitting in add-ins, right? So once we do that, we see DD Excel here, and now we are ready to work with it. So I just downloaded a data for you, okay? So let me pick it up. So here it is, okay, data. So, you know, this is in Washington Post this morning. So what we want to do is say, Let's say look at this data where we have the net worth of members of Congress and uh, so we look at it and here is DD Excel and we want to work with this data first say we want to look at the summaries okay so we are let's see and we are only looking at one variable at the moment and net worth is the only variable that we have selected so we'll click on it and bring it here say okay and you know you can see a summary statistics displayed here will work more with it but first just make sure that we get it going on our computer all right